focused on the soul, it's however, the with series. respect to the uh, new age adage of higher self or crystal self or different things like that, the, the perception and feeling is like there is some part of us which is extremely intelligent, extremely wise that we try to want to bring in or kind of tap into. The impression I get from here of a soul is all of these. I don't see or feel that there's a huge, vast intelligence or anything like that in the soul. Is that wrong or wrong? This is where, where the only intelligence is. But is it how so, see, see, as soon as I start talking about intelligence, and wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> knowledge, yep. virtue. Sorry, virtue. Uh, virtue is a quality. Is more of a soul quality. But yeah. these these things are more coming from this this still this intellectual desire to understand. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all those things are automatically when, when we get these in harmony with God. Mm -hmm. All that's automatic. That's what I meant by seek first the kingdom and all these other things will be added to you. So at the moment, many of you are still wanting to understand intellectually, wanting to get things, wanting to be knowledgeable and work wise and all those kind of things. Give that up. What we want is just to be like a child, isn't it? Yes. Don't you just want to have fun? Yes. <laughs> isn't that what it's all about here? Yes. Like, and if having, and after a while having fun, you know, all of these things will come to you. You'll work out how everything works really easily, and you won't have to study it either. You'll just feel it. Oh yeah, I feel that. That's a new truth. Wow! Like, you didn't have to learn it from any other source because you got taught it from God through your emotion, right? So what you will need to do, and the desire to get into this is all about still the desire to understand, right? That comes from an emotion. I don't understand. Feel it. Feel how useless it is to intellectually try to understand things. That's an emotion the majority of us have, right? We want to understand because we actually feel we're quite dumb in the end. So feel that. Feel that emotion. When you feel that emotion and you no longer have that emotion that you're a dumb idiot anymore, what will happen is that you will automatically have all these truths come to you and you'll realise the power of yourself. you realise the power of your own soul. That makes yeah. sense to you? Yeah. Alright. So every time you focus on this part of you, you are getting off focus. You're getting off focus from this part of you, which is the real you. Right? Every time you want to understand everything, do things intellectually, you're getting off of this. Right? If it's about fully experiencing this, that's the real you. That's the part we always need to focus on. Every single thing in your life, every accident you have, every illness you have, every emotion you have, every law of attraction you have, everything that's going on in your life is created by that. Your mind had nothing to do with it. You might think you want to have something to do with it, but it's too bad. You only have something to do with it at that level. So, does that mean that our life is predestined? No. No, this is your soul. Nobody else's. It's your soul where you either retain emotion inside of you that you don't want to release, that's your free will, or you release it. And it's just by the releasing it or the retaining of it that creates your reality. Right? You have total control over that reality. Nobody else does. God is saying to you, I want you to live your life. That's why I gave you the gift of free will. I want you to do exactly what you want. But whenever you want to do something that breaks some of my other laws for the harmony of my universe, there's going to be some kind of pain in your soul. So if I'm feeling pain, I've just broken some laws or I've broken some laws in the past that I'm not willing to deal with. That's all. Right? I just don't want to become aware of them. So how many times do we get some pain and then what do we do? Go and get aspirin. Huh? But what's that doing? It's just saying like, oh, oh I've got some pain. It's not emotional. Yeah. It's got to be to do with the body that I've got, that God gave me. Yeah, he gave me a crappy body, come and think. Because <laughs> it's getting all of this stuff, you know, happening to it. But in reality, I just created all that. And I'm not accepting that truth. You follow me? If I'm not accepting this, I'm not accepting all of these truths. And if you focus on this truth, everything in your life will change. Everything. So, you know, all the secret stuff, you know, how they say, you know, set your intention, write down a picture, have a mental image, all those kind of things. It's only going to work as far as it affects this. So if it affects that, it'll work. If it doesn't affect it, it won't. That's why for some people who've tried it, for how many of you have tried the secret stuff for the last five years? 
and it has, hasn't worked for you on some major areas. <coughs> Lots of areas. Lots of areas, right? Yeah. And the reason why is because it's not focused on the soul. Mm. Right? It's focused on... Oh, I better pick up my piece of paper. It's focused on the... It's focused on this part of you, you know, trying to create something with the intellect. Mm -hmm. Yeah? The soul is, is the real you. It creates everything. And I, you are your soul. Like, a lot of people say, are you the reincarnation, to me, are you the reincarnation of Jesus? I'm sorry, no, I'm not. I am Jesus. I just happen to be reincarnated. My soul is the same soul that it was all the time. Exactly the same soul. Your soul will never change. Aside from growing, I mean, it will never change. You won't become another person just by reincarnating at some point in the future. You won't become another person. You will still be your soul. This is the real you. This is the real you. Not any of this. Yeah?